Now a pelvic ultrasound of a 40 years old female Paris and uh, she has come to rule out the possibility of a fibroid as she has been uh, declared by some from some other place not to mention. Now here we are seeing the uterus, the urinary bladder in transfer section. This is the urinary bladder, sorry. This is the urinary bladder. And this is the uterus. All of this is the uterus. In transfer section. And it does look like that there is a fibroid. This area easily can be labeled as a fibroid in the uterus. Now, the situation is that try to scan in longitudinal section, and you see in longitudinal section. When you align the uterus with the vagina, you see that this is the cervix, cervical area, this one and this one. This is the cervical canal, okay. This is the endometrial canal and this is also the endometrial canal. This is the anterior segment of the uterus, this is the posterior segment of the uterus. Now what has happened, but the only issue is, which is a normal thing, is that the uterus is retroverted in shape. Normally you see that the uterus is antiverted, it's like this, it goes up and then you see it here. Now in this case it's opposite. The body of the uterus is going down, the fundus is posterior and uh, in normal case, in other cases, uh, this is also a normal variant, but uh, in routine cases you see that the fundus will be at the upper end. Now this is the fundus of the uterus, this area, and this is the interior segment of the uterus. This is the posterior segment of the uterus. Now the, there is no focal lien. The myometrium is clear of any cystic or solid focal lien. So, uh, and the distance uh, of the endometrial canal is that it is central, almost central, giving same dimensions. So, after going through this part, remember this ecogenic line is representing the endometrial canal. This is the endometrial canal, which is in the early proliferative phase of the menstrual cycle as it measures 6.5 is clear. So, the, this is a case study of a retroverted uterus. Now, in such uterus, this area, this area, when you will move the probe 90 degree and uh, try to scan in transfer section, here this area, you, most of the people who are not fully trained in ultrasonography will give this area as a fibroid or a focal lien or a mass in the uterus as you can see now when I will move the probe at 90 degrees here I am easily you can say well over there is, this is a U this is a fibroid this area this is a mass this is not a mass this is basically the under region see see it clearly. Here I am in transfer section. 
so no question of uh, of fibroids rather be very careful in retroverted uterus do not give a fibroid uh, to the uh, mentioned fibroid to the fundus of the uterus so this is a point of caution regarding the retroverted ultrasound of the retroverted uterus. Now this uterus is absolutely normal. It measures 77 millimeters into 41 millimeters which is normal. No fluid is seen in the pelvic cavity and this is the right ovary with a follicle in it. We can only see, uh, this is the follicle. Here is the second ovary with follicular activity. This is the second ovary with follicular activity. So we have studied a retroverted uterus.